Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Cinema and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and welcome to the last final part of our top 100 games of all time it's a top 10! Top 10! Top 10! Top 10! Top 10! Top 10! It's, a, it's the very best games according to us yeah according these to are us, yes. only subjective the meanings objectively best games in the whole wide world do, 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 do. Yes. these are 10 games there might be some crossovers there might yeah. be some no crossovers there might be board games there, there might be, will for sure be board games, that's the only thing I know. There might be words in this video. I, I think there will be words. If you like videos like this, which has board games, words, maybe crossovers, or other things which also have narrations in them, then you can subscribe to our channel. And how do you do that exactly? It is a button that yes. says subscribe right under the video. Uh, oh. and you would, I would recommend trying to push there. Yes. I, I think it's fun. If it says like subscribe, don't push don't it. Don't push it. Then you unsubscribe. Don't push the button. Don't push it. But there's a bell as well, isn't there? Uh, yeah, I've heard rumors about yes, the bell. You a can, mystical bell. You can push it and then you get notifications when we post videos. We, you do. So you will be able to see our faces and hear words about board games. Very fast. Very Not faster than normal, but you can up the speed of the video if you <laughs> no, want you to. Actually. And you will get to hear it even faster. So with all of that out of the way... Welcome to Cinema and Johannes Explaining YouTube. <laughs> yes. How how does it work again? Is you can YouTube like, subscribe and comment. We would appreciate that as well. Let's do some games. This was a hard list to make. Like, not the top 10 in its whole, but, but that too. Like, the whole top 100, very hard to make. So this is just like a snapshot of right now. This can change. I just want to say that because it's very hard to... Yeah, push, put like the, the People, all of the good. But you know, no, nobody's gonna be like, we don't like you anymore because you had this number four instead of five. That's well, not how it works. Well, I think so. Okay, uh, my games. number ten. Let's start it off. Yes, with detective, um, modern crime board game. This board, bo board game. Board game. It's not a board game. It's a board game. This is one of the most amazing experiences I've had with a board game. Yes. It really felt like a uh, being in sort of a crime mystery. Like CSI, series. CSI yes. New York, CSI Person. Miami. Yes. CSI two. It was very, very exciting and I got shivers down my spine when something, when we connected like the dots and like, oh, Who's he's that, that person and oh, no. what's happening now? Very, very cool scenarios with also this overhanging storyline that really tied it all together, which we are suckers for. Yes, we like um, a good campaign. We have played some expansions for this, but like the first first one yeah. is the one that I have on my top 10. It's the one that you want. It's the one you want. It's the one I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Okay. My number 10 then is Brass. Okay, cool. Birmingham. Uh, if I had to like do one of them. If you have to do one of them, if it's I can't, gonna be If I can't cheat, it has to be Birmingham. But, but like Brass as a system with Brass Lancashire and Brass Birmingham. This is a... It's both a strategic and also a tactical game with multi-use cards, area control, root building, planning, half of the game, everything just falls apart and you try to like squeeze by to get the most points. Uh, you need to try to get your income up so that you actually don't have to take a lot of loans. There is just so much good stuff in this game. And I loved it from the first time I played the old version and I came home from that con and the Kickstarter for a new version just suddenly appeared two days after we got home, which was a really, really fun experience. I just was like, oh, this is cool. I won this game and now I can get it just looking beautiful instead of horrible. <laughs> instead uh, of crap. Such a good game. Both of those experiences, especially Birmingham. Fantastic game. That's why it's my number 10. Yeah. Do -do -do -do. It's, it's an amazing game. It's a very, very interactive game. Yes. I can build up to be like, oh, I want <clears> to <throat> place like the iron works in that city because it matches my car perfectly. And then I can deliver and get a lot of money and you build a freaking iron work in the same city and now I can't build it. It's super, super annoying. Yes. Uh, you have to adjust to what the other players do constantly and how the timing is when spending money is super, super duper interesting. Because if you spend a lot of money, you uh, ha are going lost in turn, the mm -hmm. next round. So mm -hmm. you can be like doing double turns and ah, yeah, stuff, good, good stuff. I didn't know 
what the deal was when you were so excited about it uh, when we played it the first time because I really didn't like it as much but when we got it home just a stellar, stellar game. Because you can't look so past good. a horrible looking game. Well, I can't. You can. I can yes. really, but yeah, it needed just to grow a little bit on me. Yeah. My number nine is, it's a little, I'm a little embarrassed to have it here because I really, I have just played this version of it once, but I have played the old game more. But the newer game was really the one that lifted it up for me. It, it's, it's so, so solid. Right after we played it, it was like, I want to play this forever. There's such a cool, unique blend of mechanisms and it's so tight. It's Kanban EV. Oh, okay. I, I just like, I loved this game like instantly when mm -hmm. we played a new mm -hmm. version of it. And it, when we played the old version, it was really too heavy for me back yes, then. Yes, absolutely. And when we played the new version now, we're just like, oh, okay. Makes okay, th this is this is the deal. I just want to play this yeah. forever yeah. because yeah. it's so much good stuff. But really, um, it's it's one of the one of the best games ever made. I don't know. Yeah, it's fantastic. Absolutely, it's really a superb game. Let's see if I can get to open my book here. My number nine then uh, is not a crossover, but it is a designer crossover. It's a designer crossover. So my number nine is Winios. Okay, cool. Winios. Yes. I love this game. Really like the the new edition, but I really also love the original edition with the bank. Uh, I with think like for for <clears throat> heavier board gamers, I think that one is the the best way to go. The other one is more streamlined. This is one of those games where you feel like you have no actions. I think you, it's like nine rounds, and you do one action each round, mm. and you're trying to get so much stuff done: making your wine, aging your wine, selling your wine, using it in tournaments. Just like so much stuff going on at a very few actions at the same time fantastic game Vital sort of makes some very good like there's the thematic as well which i don't really care that much about just like the sort of games just really speaks to me in that they are perfectly heavy for me and they are perfectly they make sense in my brain. Yeah, even... I wish I could say the same of all Holy's game, but some of his games, like, they're really good, but they just don't connect with my brain. Like, Galleries, I don't know Need what to play you're it doing more. Like, this We game. haven't played it in many it's years. It's so hard, but it's, very, it's so many great games of his. Yeah, I love Vinyl's fantastic game from La Surna. Yes. My number eight is... It's my favorite heavy game. Uh, it was on our top of our list. It's your favorite heavy game? It is. Wow, so what is going to be your rest of this top 10 list? Well, uh, well like, no, I'm not saying like it's my favorite heavy game. It's no heavy games in my top, but but like this is the game that if you want, if you tell me like, oh, which games like melt your brain the most, I'm gonna think of this instantly. It has a brutal one-way street. It's, it's, so hard to play this game it's lignum and it's it's not like the heaviest game is uh in i don't think it's it like beats some of the other heavy games no, in, no, our in collection. no no but, but I, 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 I in melting us on my yeah. brain in planning forwards with all the actions like the long-term planning that you have to do in this game mm -hmm. oh my gosh but it's so so good i agree fantastic game i didn't Maybe really explain it but the one it's way game, street is most of the like it's like half of the game yes mm. it's a very much forward planning game where you are having a sawmill you're trying to again like dry up your wood spending it on different contracts getting the best wood possible and uh, you cannot trade sheep for wood in this game no so my number eight then is a game that was on your last list so yep. almost across the world it is Grand Austria Hotel. Yes. And this is just for me a very fun combo game where I'm trying to squeeze out the most bonus actions and try to chain things. And it's one of those games where I feel like I am decent at the game, which makes it even more fun. But it's just like, again, one of those medium games, which is very fun. Every time you play it, you run a hotel and a cafe. People need to eat before they sleep, so you try to get them into the cafe, give them what they want, and then get them into rooms in their specific color like they do to fulfill their needs thematically. It is a just very fun game. It has some luck, but the luck is mostly for everybody with the rolling of the dice. 
and if uh, you really need an action and you can't get it there's ways to get around that there's special abilities with the different people who work for you and so much stuff going on and the expansions i felt like added like the modules we have played added fun stuff to the game mm. and it's one i just want to play more i agree it's a very very good game obviously since i had it in my top 20. My number seven is uh, a game that has jumped up in the rankings very fast. It's a Rainer Knizia game, my favorite of his. It's My City. Um, wow. and, and I just had an okay. amazing game with time with this game. Mm -hmm. We haven't finished it. No, we haven't. And that is because the third person that we played it, mm -hmm. it is like a campaign game. So, so you, you want to be the same person playing it all of like because all the, the amazing story no it doesn't it's a matter. legacy game yeah yeah because the game pro the mechanism changes when you play it and and the third person moved away so yes. it's very hard to get it played but it's a very addictive game because you turn everybody uh needs to build like the same building so turn mm -hmm. over a card that shows the tetramino piece that needs to be placed in your uh, on your Double board, board yeah. and you really want to uh, keep your options open as open as possible so you don't get like stuck with pieces and can't build them and sometimes um, like how my run goes is really down to the order of those lost buildings mm -hmm. and sometimes I'm unlucky but like setting yourself up for success no matter what happens is really the clue to the puzzle in this game and it's so satisfying when you uh, are able to do it. Yes, a very, very good game. One of the better legacy games out there. Very light, light on story. Didn't try to do that. Just very plain, fun, mechanical legacy game. Yes. Absolutely love it. My number seven is one of the games that's probably always going to be on the top 100. Uh, it is The Castles of Burgundy. Yeah. A game that is always fun to play. A game that is always interesting always has decisions that are, 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 are good it's one of the games i've played the most probably played like 40 times something like that um and just recently if you haven't seen it there was a new uh, edition actually uh, announced for this even yes. though we just got like a tenth anniversary edition but that was crap so uh, it was not crap but it was not good either i would rather have the original but now we're gonna get awakened realms making Castle Burgundy, which like are making runs and Alea together is like the weirdest combination. Yeah. I would have never thought about that. So hopefully it will be a good addition and not just to blinged out. But if there's one game I can just be happy with having a blinged out version of, it's going to be Castle Burgundy. Which is kind of fun because it's always been these flimsy little things yes. with very ugly things. So and I, ugly. I'm always going to keep that addition because yeah, that's like so important to us that yeah. we probably might throw out the other edition when we get this one yeah this uh we might be a little biased on this game like because it holds such a special place in mm -hmm. my heart but it's one of the felt games that are overall beloved by so many people mm. uh, it's a very very solid game and just overall super enjoyable i've seen some of the new artwork for the new edition and the, like the suggestions for it yeah. looks very good much and better than the anniversary yes edition. absolutely so i really hope that they uh, they do us proud with this yeah. new edition of the game absolutely amazing game my number six it has dropped uh, some places since the last um, top list mm -hmm. that we made it was my number one last time oh wow it hasn't dropped so far it nope. like being in the top 10 is like oh yeah up there you know it's Bruxelles 1893 I've yeah. always struggled with the numbers yes uh, this is a game that is a perfect blend of it all I know some people have been very excited for it if it had the staying power to be my number one this year as well uh, we played it for Keeper Call and I absolutely enjoyed mm. it but there's so many games good games to compete with so yeah. even though that they uh, this game is super duper good it has so many many mechanisms blended so perfectly well together mm -hmm. and so very well integrated with each other and if I should like name all the mechanisms in this game we should sit here for a while yes. but um, like the way that you auction for the places on the board and uh, like the, the majority that yeah. you... Yeah. And it's a work and placement game with an auction basically in between and area control and yes. all of this different stuff. Yes. Um, I remember so clearly, this is one of the games I really, because mostly I teach games mm. and, and, and uh, 
And also time when I get taught games, I don't remember it that well, but this one is one where I was like, oh, this is never gonna work. Like every time I felt like, oh no, it's done as the new mechanism. And I was like, oh, then there's a real control. Oh, and as also, you're auctioning for this card. So it's like, what if this is never gonna work? And then we play one round and I'm on eBay and buying a copy yeah. because mm, the game was so it's good. It's so good. I, I absolutely agree with you. Fantastic game. Uh, my number six then, right? Yeah. yeah. Is a game that would have never been this high if it wasn't for Keep or Call. Because I did not remember much about this game at all. And then we played and I was like, okay, I just want to play this every single day of the week. And this is Caverna. Oh, the yeah. The Cave Farmer cool, from Uber cool. Rosenberg. A fantastic worker placement game uh, with just so much to choose from. Like you have 40 buildings or something that you need to, and everything is on display. And it's like, okay, what do you want to do? Like brain overload. So much stuff to do. Very, very just fun game. Have a great flow to it. It feels like a less mean Agricola. I really enjoy Agricola now more than I did, but I think still this, or this still is for me, a way better game for my taste. I have it, I, I've had it already in my top mm -hmm. 100, and it wouldn't be so high if we didn't. No. Nope. We played it recently. This is one of the games that I remember I had a fond memory of, but it's been so washed out by other games that we played in the meantime, so I'm so happy that we got to play it before we made this list. Yeah. It really shines as a game by Euro Rosenberg. It feels very, very Yubi. It's very, very classical him, mm -hmm. but but with some twists as well that keeps it nice and fresh. It's just a game that I would love going back to and play over and over again. Yeah. Uh, my number five is a uh, crossover. I, did you have it in this list or the Lost Nations? And uh, it was eleven. It was eleven. Yeah. So it was almost a crossover. It was twelve. Um, it was twelve. Okay, but it. It was twenty-four. <laughs> It was fun. But as we recently talked about, it's just like the Eurofied version of this, the, the, what do you call it, the Civilization, civilization game, game yeah. that I really speaks to me. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that I would like these kind of games in general. Yeah. This is a game that we've had in the collection for a long time, mm -hmm. that I've liked for a long time, and which also, like, it always fun to play when you bring it out to the table and that's important when you play a game that lasts a long time and you have to put your soul and life into yes yeah yeah nations is uh, fantastic as we spoke about the last time it has very neat mechanisms of the the, the worker placement worker like statement as i called it last time where you yeah, have to have nice them word. stay on different cards to, to generate different um, military or or power for you, or income, and or stuff like that. Or resources, yeah, it's super it's exciting. very, very good game. My number five is going to be quick. It's going to be a crossover. Yeah. Uh, usually, like, the top ten is always, like, more quick, because we are ending up, uh, especially, like, we have crossovers in the same one. Uh, it is Lignum. Cool. Fantastic, heavy game. We yes. just spoke about it, like, five minutes ago, if you've seen this out of order. So, crossover down. So oh, yeah! Dun, 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 dun. Mini crossover! Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so that's back to me, right? That is true, yeah. yeah. You're like, what's going on now? I don't I, understand. I always forget that it's going back to me. Yeah, I can do my next, but then it's going to be very, very confusing. My number four has been in the exact same space for every uh, top list that we've made. Oh, wow. Uh, it's Castles of Burgundy. It's oh, just cool. solid yeah. number four. Uh, I sometimes like push things around to get it in the number four space. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like your thing now. Yeah. It's gonna be in your so four. next year, looking forward to play Castle of Burgundy. Looking forward. Ha! Huh, to play. Did you get it? it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Like yeah, it's I got a it. number four in a word. What? Uh, no, number four, <laughs> but Castles. Okay. Yes. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Crossover. Crossover dance. Yes. Then it's gonna go back to me. Is number it top three? No. No, it's my You're number four. four. First. Sorry. But it's gonna be a crossover. Oh, it is. It is another Lasorda game. It's Kanban EV. Oh, it's so high on yeah, the yeah, list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. I was just like, oh, I feel stupid because it's my number ten, and just like it's your number, number four. four. I'm looking forward to play it. New joke. But it's so good though. It is. It's, it's so fantastic. good. Fantastic. Yes. And you will see in this list like the heavier games to speak to my heart. Yes. Well, I so, do no, no. think we I have a nice uh, we blend. We do need to have the have the, the, the crossover dance. Oh, yes. Do -do 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 -do. Crossover dance. It's a crossover dance. We're dancing and crossing over. 
You need to cross over. Oh. Crossing over. Cross over dance. Boom. Now it's a top three. You said something about a blend of games. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just you said like the heavy game speaks your heart, but yes. I think like we have a a, a nice blend. Oh yeah, of I just feel like in the and... top here. Yes, I. No, I still don't think I have a no, nice blend. But I'm saying me. I'm I'm saying to me. I'm saying my my games. Yeah, I'm saying my games. Oh yeah, so, true. Yeah. Okay, let's I do the top three. Yeah. Top three games of all time, brought to you by Board Gaming Ramblings. Doo -doo 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 -doo. These three has been mixed in like order the whole time. Like every time I've looked at the list, list I'm just like, nope, no, nope, I don't want this there. I don't want because they're like so good. All of those three. You don't want them there because they're so good. So we need to take them off the list. <laughs> yes, uh, my number three is Brass. And uh, that's another crossover. Do -do 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 -do, mini crossover. Mini crossover. And that's like Bros <laughs> Birmingham if I had to choose, but they're yes. both very, very stellar, good games. Bros. Yes, so my number two then is. No, three? my number three. My number three is another crossover. Is it? <laughs> this, game. It's very exciting. this video is just like the same games over and but over. But we have again. very similar tastes. Like, we do, and it does align. It's, it's not it does a align shock more and more. For us. I would love to know how many games in the whole top 100 which are crossovers. Yeah. So, mm. somebody may know. We can do it ourselves. It's fine. <laughs> but we won't. Uh, <laughs> my true. number three is Bruxelles 1893. Oh, it's so high for you. Do That's do 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 cool. Do. Crossover time! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember the place Do it you was... remember the place that it was time. last September? Yeah. I don't remember the place that it was last but, time. Okay. It was in the top 10. It was in the top 10. I'm pretty sure it was. It's higher for you than for me. Maybe I put it too low. That's my do brain do 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 do. going constantly with this list. Yes. Just that all the time. Okay, top two. Top two. Top two. Brought to you by Board Gaming Ramblings. Like, when I think it's sitting here, I don't, I ha haven't decided which one I'm going to say. So I'm just saying something. My my number uh, two is Gloomhaven, and it's not a complete crossover because it's full little for you. Yes. Because this was your number one last year. And no, it was not. It was number two. Oh, it was number two. Yeah. Cool. I'm pretty sure. But it's still like you said that it had fallen because we don't play it and stuff yeah. and blah blah blah. It was number 26 this year. Yes. Um, for me it's... Um, I don't... Uh, you know when you get to have like get things on a distance we say in Norwegian. Yes. <laughs> when you have to... Time has passed and now yes. I have gotten it on a distance. I haven't gotten... Could remember, I don't know how we say on this. Distance. On the distance. I don't think yet. that's a word. <laughs> When you, you, get, you give it time, you give, give oh, yeah, it the, the space, you give it yes, space. You get, I, you get it on the distance. That's I, how I don't, you say it in Norwegian. Yes, I know, but it sounds horrible in English. But, yeah, I think you understand what I mean. I think that it's not that much time since I played it that I've passed. Uh, <laughs> which means that I still have a very fond memory of us playing it, even though we're done. Two years ago. And like... It. Uh, I, I like every time we talk about Gloom Event, I'm sitting like, oh, Frost Haven is coming soon. And it's taking Frost a long Haven time. Frost Haven is coming to town. When is coming? Do we know? When? I have when? no idea. No, no. It's no. Some, some... We kind of have Maybe to forget to live our lives. Because we have to I... forget to live our lives. That's, <laughs> we just have to forget to live our lives and then Frost Haven is <laughs> going to be here right around the corner. <laughs> yes. That's my number two. That's your number two. Yeah. Then it's my number two. And mm. it's a guess a room. No. I think you're not my number one. I, I hope so. I know you're number one or two. It depends on what you're saying now. My number two is another game by uh, Vital Yes. It's Lisboa. Yes. A fantastic game. But what the... What is your number one? Building yes. up. I, you just said you just knew it. No, because that is the one I knew. Because that's my number one. Lisboa! That was like the most... Yeah, that's the most anticlimactic <laughs> anti way yes. ever Sorry. of doing it. Sorry, I regretted all uh, my decisions. Okay, let's see. What's your number one? Lisboa! What? It starts with an L. We but, don't have an expansion I was like, to it. But I was like, because you said... When you said Lingnum, you said this is my highest rated heavy game. Oh, yeah, because you thought I was say, going to say Lisboa then? N no, no, I was thinking, but, but what about those other games? Oh, yeah, but yeah. So it's this a... bar for you is a medium game? No, it isn't. It's not what I said. And it's also not your favorite heavy game because it's on your number one. No, but then it's is... not what I said. Yes. And I think Just you know what I mean. No. And you said 
My number something is wanna... my favorite heavy game. Okay, you're saying. I. It's <clears throat> this is Lenum. It's not my favorite heavy game. Okay, it's back to. Second I know I didn't say game. it. Just rewind two okay. seconds. I did. did not say did. it. I did, not. <laughs> I did not say it. I, <laughs> I did, did not. not. Oh hi but, Mark. Okay. Uh, um, but yes. Lisboa. Lisboa, fantastic. It's a game. very good game. <laughs> We're doing the top yes. two and one at the same time, <laughs> just with the speaking as well. It's actually the and top twelve right now. It's one two in the game. Is with the what you're gonna <laughs> it's been and an the thing earthquake about the game is and a fire, a fire and a tsunami tsunami at the same time and you're building up Lisboa it's from scratch from scratch <laughs> and the king is living in the mountains because he don't want and to you be. want to prove that you're the best at building the city isn't yes. that the usual thing that you do when you're get building points. city well yeah get points but very simple game it's yeah. not a heavy game for you, you play a card, you do what it says, and then you draw a card. Very simple, straightforward. It was game. on my simple games with a lot of <laughs> thinkiness. The list. No, it was. <laughs> uh, well, it, it and is. And before a... you comment, this is not filmed in the middle of the night. It just no. feels like it. <laughs> yes, I don't know what happened, but we're having fun. Yay! Well, and um, what I think it's cool about this boa is the way that the game escalates because it's, you're starting off with so little. And everything that you do seems like you like are left with less than you started with. Yeah. So it really is like a a, a math uh, calculation that doesn't m make sense in my brain. And towards the the end of the game, you have a lot of money. You can do stuff. You can build cool buildings, and you can. It's still very tight, but you have all these possibilities that you didn't even see was possible in the beginning. Yeah. And the way that you get there, it feels very rewarding, but it feels that you have to work for every single thing that you do. Yeah, yeah. it's just so many cool mechanisms blended together, and the art style and the theme in this game is very well thought out. I like that why with Talos Arda, but overall the mechanisms, perfect. I agree so with everything good. you just said, and it's time for my number one. I don't know. Well, this is like at all and that makes no sense because it's obvious what it is oh it's yeah just okay one yeah thing yeah that it I, can be. you're just like <laughs> i don't know uh, it is i've forgotten it it is a feast for owning yes of course uh, it is which is i a, can't believe that i forgot no you're just like i don't know it's but, gonna be but it, because I have it, <laughs> yes i have it lower on my list so i kind of thought you had said that already oh yeah obviously you no haven't. because i have a better taste in games well my number one i beg to differ <laughs> is a piece for odin it is a huge sprawling uh, a worker placement game with like 64 worker spaces in the expansion you have a few more and you start the game with negative 84 points or something like that yes and you're trying to work up from that to get actual points uh it is just very very good many paths to go many different things to do especially if you have the norwegians the expansion yes. makes the game a lot better really recommend this if you want a heavier work replacement game and you haven't played this this is the best game i have ever played i loved it so much when we got it that i sat down and played it solo and i don't play games solo not because they're not good playing solo but it's not for me and i did that just because i was like oh i need to play this game more fan Fantastic game, best way to round off this top 100 with the best game. You're just stealing the show with your, your uh, first pro. And brown. that is the end of the Bye. Video. top 100 games of all time. <laughs> yes. We are at the end. Please let us know in the comments what you thought about the list. Oh, we forgot the crossover dance for Liz Boa. We had to. You can't cheat on the crossovers. Crossover dance! And that's the end. If you are still here and you have not subscribed, you can do so now. Bye. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I was thinking about... Sorry, uh, just first. What are your favorite games? I want to know. I want to know how... I want to know. I want to know how awesome games you have on your list because... So many awesome games, but you can subscribe. It's yes. a button down yes. there, and if you click it, it is free to click, and yeah. it's fun to click it. I promise, and it makes us happy, and we're smiling like this. And if you want to do something that's not free, you can go to Patreon.com/slash/BoardGamingRamblings and support us there. That's the end of this top yes. 100 list. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Sedema. You've been watching Board Thank Gaming you. Ramblings. Thank you. And bye bye. <laughs>